Hi, and welcome to another video on Image R. Today we will talk about compound lenses. Let's go. First of all we will go to Imagar.com and prepare a few images. You can download the prepared images as well as the originals on laserpix.com for free. Link is attached in the video description. Upload the image you want to prepare and click on the resize button. I will use 220mm in width, the height calculates automatically. My laser needs 254 dpi, if you're unsure about your dpi just watch the video in the top right corner. I will use the Nero wood algorithm, since I engrave my image on birch plywood. Nero is an awesome algorithm, since it automatically sharps your image as well, and has a very detailed dithering. Since the image is too dark for my 80 watt CO2 laser, I will increase the gamma value to 2.1. This prevent my laser from burning too deep into the surface, and it doesn't get any weird structures. Now I will save the image as PNG file. Let's do another one. I don't need the space around the woman so I will use the crop feature to cut out the needed part of my image. Now I will just do the same steps on resize as before. Her eyes are really dark, so I will use the automatic color correction on image R to bring more details in her eyes and hair. This feature is awesome for dark spots on your image, as you can see we have now a much clearer eye than before. Now let's apply the Nero Wood algorithm again. I also will increase gamma a little bit to 1.7, so the image is a little bit brighter. Save the file as PNG and we are good to go. On the last image I did the same as before, so I will speed this up a little. Now let's talk about compound lenses. A compound lens is basically a set of two lenses above each other. One of the lenses has a shorter, and the other one a longer focal length. This will reduce the dot size of your lens tremendously, and also prevent very deep burns. Therefore it is basically perfect for image engravings. I will use in this video the compound lens from Cloudray. I also attached the Amazon link in the video description. The first lens from my Cloudray setup has a focal length of 2.5 inches, and it's a CVD lens. The second lens is a PVD lens with a focal length of 1.5 inches. Cloudray also gives you the possibility to buy the lenses with a nozzle, since the new focus distance is way shorter than usual, and you will run into issues if you have a long nozzle. Let me show you how to set up the new lens. If you look at this picture, you can see that we have to place the longer focal length first and above the shorter one. This is really important, otherwise you won't get the effects I explained earlier. So let's bring this together. First we put the CVD lens in the nozzle, then directly above the PVD lens. The white rubber ring is to prevent the lenses from the pressure of the screw, since they can shatter easily without. Believe me, I know what I am talking about. Now, after we place the rubber ring in, we have to fix everything with the screw. Make sure it's tight, but don't too tight, because the bottom lens will shatter. That's how it looks now, let's attach it carefully to our laser head. Probably don't let it fall like me. If it falls to the ground it's pretty sure over, and you wasted around $60 for the lenses. I know, the ARSS tube isn't the prettiest, but it works well and doesn't affect anything at all. Of course you can solve this way cleaner for example with a drop of hot glue, I will fix mine as well soon. Attach the air assist tube in the little hole on the side of the nozzle, and we are good to go. Now, as usual, I will do a quick ramp test to find my perfect distance to the material. Just enhance one side of a piece of plywood, and cut a straight line. Don't use too much power, it should only be a straight, visible line, we don't want to cut through it all. As you see the line starts really wide, gets small in the middle and then wide again. The best position is the smallest width, obviously, 
so we will measure the distance from any fixed point you can easily reach to the smallest line width. My distance is 61.2 millimeters or 2.41 inches. Now we know everything to engrave awesome images. Remove the ramp test and place your plywood. I use this word Tesla shape things, which are perfect to hold down my plywood if it's wrapped. A compound lens mess up results if it's wrapped by 1 to 2 millimeters tremendously, so we want it really flat. I will attach the vector file for this thing as well in the video description. Now let's measure the distance from the point we used before to the material. As we know it has to be the same distance we measured earlier. Great, now load your image and start the job, that's it. I engrave all of these images with 200mm per s and 16% power on my 80W CO2 laser. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like and subscribe the channel, so you will never miss out any future content. Bye.